ready before you begin. All right, but next time. Also in the news today, another demonstration by anti-Fenrir protesters. This morning, before all global Fenrir branches, protesters gathered. In the Far East, the group was led by residents of the outer ghetto. The demonstrators called on the corporation to increase rationing, increase ghetto defenses, and reopen in-house hiring. After almost two hours of marches, speeches, and slogans, the assembled group dispersed peacefully. Oh, hey, come here a second. I'm hearing great things about you from the other God Eater. You're doing more than just exceeding expectations. But look, you gotta try not to push too hard, okay? You're so talented, and that's great. But in the past, all the best God Eaters die young. And I've got a nice long life ahead of me. Sounds like a deal. Hey, Lindo. Keeping executives' hours once again, I see. Well, I do an executive's amount of work. All right, who's ready for another fun day of God Eating? All three of us are heading out on this next mission. I'll take the lead. Sakuya, you'll play backup. Got it. And you will be our switch hitter. Take on the commando role. Show us what a new... Anything else? Huh? Uh, yeah, don't die out there. Inspiring and emotional as always, boss. So charismatic. The unit is in position. All God Eaters, take careful note of your surroundings. What's on the to kill list today? Just the Gaboro Gaboro? Let's get it done and get to the bar. Uh, um, Linda, this might be a good opportunity to show them how an officer should act. Eh, not my thing. I, uh, I'll keep it here. Take it down! Like 
There you are, you little bastard. You're not This monster's pretty sluggish for an Oh, it can get mean if you get all up in its face. It's got a nasty bite, so stay clear. You'll be fine. The plan is to flank him. Move in from both sides and hit the body with everything we've got. Well, be careful when you piss it off. These babies tend to flail around. Keep an eye out when you get close. Let's finish! So you learn anything new at school today? <laughs> Not. Nah, here's a quick lesson. Yeah, you gotta learn.
All right, all right. Looks like vitals are all in expected parameters. Begin the mission. Mission stop. I need some scouts to go find me those monster baddies. Let me hunt. I'll find them. Of course. Wherever they are, I will find the monsters. I'm on the hunt. Eager to fight? Then here I come! Yeah! Selma is in combat with a secondary target. Scratch another one up for me. Failed it. Aragon! Who's next? Target eliminated. Excellent. That's what I like to see. You're not ready for this. There we go. That's a confirmed execution. <laughs> Brilliant. Not done yet. Cover me. Rely. Crush them. Now weaker. Hit them. Hit them hard. You will die. Victory. Primary target terminated. Perfect. Mission accomplished. Prepare to return to base. Another one bites the dust. Objectives complete. Let's go home. Yet another great day to do some god-eating. Make sure you come back safe and sound. That's... that's it? That's the whole speech? You won't last very long if you question him like that. Trust this me. This is absurd. Looks like everyone's feeling the mission today. Well, almost everyone. Ha <laughs> ha! No, no, I'm just kidding. Come on, chin up, yeah? This'll be your first mission as a squad. You're all damn good, so get out there and do what you do best. Wait, our first mission? What about you, Lindo? Oh, well, you know, I got a hot date waiting for me, so it's just gonna be you guys. Keep it on the down low, though, get me? Not to mention, my lovely lady's a bit impatient. She'll stand me up if I'm a little late. So yeah, I'm gonna take off. Remember the big rule, don't die. I'll see you all later. They're your rules, so make sure you follow them yourself. Get the hell out of here and let us work. Remember, it's a work night, so try not to stay out too late. Okay, Lindo? All right, mission won't complete itself. The Congo's on the move. We've tracked it to the Western Plaza. Call for backup and get the team together before you attack. Either way, this won't be an easy fight. <laughs> Lindo, little secret dating, sneaky, sneaky. I'm hungry with it over here. Maybe you hook old Coda up. Maybe I keep this little secret. Coda, maybe you should just keep your mind on the mission, okay? Here we go! Aragon <laughs> down! Finish it! Let's finish this! Beast. There you are! Coda has entered combat with the primary target. 
fight! are brave and more than that you're heroes that is all the force they could muster against us <laughs> looks like you made it back before us how'd it go pretty well I managed to wrap up the night early as per your request how'd you guys do as per your request no one died see we did well mission complete no casualties Overall, a pretty solid outing. You should have seen it, man. We kicked so much ass. We were awesome. Funny, I don't remember you actually helping. <laughs> Damn, well if that's the case, I guess I won't be skipping out on any more dates just to keep you guys in line. Where are you getting all these ladies from? You gotta hook me up, Lindo. <laughs> I'm not so sure you can handle a lady. Hmm. Attention all gods. The 7th unit has successfully slain an Ouroboros and taken the core. All engineers report to lab number 5. I repeat, we can confirm an Ouroboros core has been detached. All engineers report to lab 5 at once for analysis. An Ouroboros? Damn, which team took it down? Not just took it down, but ripped out the core too. They're gonna be drowning in bonus cash. I know who's buying rounds tonight. You wouldn't have to be so cheap if you fought harder. Or a Boros? The hell's that? Wait, is it crazy strong? Do a little research and you won't have to ask stupid questions. It's in the norm. Look it up. It is pretty strong, Coda. I don't think we're ready for something like that just yet. Seriously? But we rock. Like, really hard. And we'll die. Like, really hard. I don't know. It's tough. Yeah, but we're getting pretty good. One of these days, we can challenge an Ouroboros. But for now, follow the big rule. Yeah, we get it. Don't die. I think you've used that line enough, don't you? Nah, I don't think so. I'll keep on saying it until you get it, Selma. You'd charge off into death if I wasn't watching out. That's just... 
Shut up. Ooh, well, all right then. <laughs> I got another date lined up, so I'm off to dinner. Good fighting, guys. Soma. No. No contact with the target as of yet. We'll keep searching.
Did you hear the news? Another new type is getting assigned to the Far East. Wait, seriously? <laughs> oh, wow. There's been a whole lot of them lately, huh? Yeah, but they're still rare. The director himself brought her over from Russia. Look, there she is. Speak of the devil, right? Good day, squad. I'd like to introduce someone. Another new type God Eater will be joining your team as of today. A pleasure to meet you. My name is Alyssa Ilonachina Amiella. I've been transferred here from the Russia branch. I will do my best to continue to serve with distinction. I hope we work well together. Yes! We always have room for another hottie. Is he serious? The fact that you have survived long enough to become a God Eater is astounding. She doesn't have the battlefield experience you do, but her scores in the simulation are beyond anything recorded. Better hone your skills. Yes, ma'am. Of course. Sorry. Alyssa, you will serve under Lindo, a talented god eater and a good commander. As you wish, ma'am. Actually, I have some documents that need your signature. Why don't you come with me? The rest of you, make Alyssa feel at home. Dismissed. Hey, wow. Russia, huh? I hear it's really cold there. Like all the time. Uh, snow's weird, right? But I guess global warming is weird too. She seems promising. Any special reason we're the only branch and squad to get a bunch of new types? Or am I just lucky? Maybe that's all there is to it. HQ's new policy is to step up new type discovery and recruitment. They could turn the tide. There is something unique about this girl, though. She might be a match, but she's a little unbalanced, mentally. Part of the deal was that she adhered to a strict mental health care regimen while she's here. Still, I need you to keep an eye on her. Anything for you, big sis. Lindo, if you ever call me that again, they will be the last words to leave your lips. Today's mission has you face to face with two Chi. They're powerful and heavily armored. Do whatever you can to pierce through their defenses. Crushing attacks from gunfire will be effective. Target and shatter their bonds. I'm all gross and sweaty and melting! Can't you melt a little fire? Why do cells actually help the body to adapt to the heat? If anyone else would probably have caught fire already. You should be grateful. Oh well, learn something new every day, huh? Thanks for that. Moving on! Kota's not the greatest. Take me down! The curtain falls! Origami down! Victory! Kill confirmed! Stop. Wait! Stay strong! Not only yeah. down! 
break off from combat? What's gotten into it? how we run an operation around here. <laughs> that looks like a win to me. I want to go home, jump in the shower, and then sleep for days. Gonna head back to base and crash hard. I can't wait to see you all safe and sound. You did so wonderfully today. Picking up from last time, we were discussing Oracle cells, yes? They make up origami and eat anything. And I mean anything. They eat life forms, flora and fauna, as well as synthetic creations, resins, plastics, for instance. It has even been reported that they can consume toxic waste, which will actively destroy any other life form. They never tire. Buildings, the Earth itself. See, this is the end result. The environment as we know it, the leftovers, is diminishing at an unsustainable rapid pace. People once gathered here to view cherry blossoms in the spring, to watch leaves array in gold and red when autumn came. Now only memories, preserved in pictures and first-hand accounts. And the origami, they begin to take on qualities of the things they consume, gaining new abilities. Recently, we have even discovered a few origami that have been photosynthesizing. It's a wonder. The composition of our air remains as it always was. 79% nitrogen, 21 oxygen. Despite the decimation of our trees and plants over the last 20 odd years, nearly 70% now gone, we have maintained the air. It's ironic. We hunt the origami and they hunt us. Yet it is due to their photosynthesis that we can still breathe. No, Mom. Your must don't go on the cookie. <sighs> really? Does he not understand how important this is? He is merely Coda. Tell me, have either of you heard the term Nova's devouring apocalypse? Yes. It will theoretically come into being through Aragami fighting each other. Humanity's extinction is triggered by a Nova, an Aragami grown so massive and so powerful that it literally devours the world. Precisely. Now, we have no confident source for the origin of this theory, and many people have dismissed it as superstitious rumor. But, but when the Aegis Project is complete, that'll protect us all, right? Even from that. Hmm. Do you know what a dog is, Coda? Huh? Yes, Canis Lupus Familiaris. Even now, their numbers are fading, but they can still be seen around the outer ghetto. Dogs are intelligent. No, they cannot speak, but they have a natural, almost innate form of communication with other species, like us. Now, if an origami were to take on these sort of qualities, would that origami then be able to coexist with us? Coexist? Of course, dogs are not the only animals that possess this sort of ingrown communication. I read once about an animal tamer who used to communicate with all kinds of creatures in some striped tent or something. <laughs> it's not possible. Humans and origami cannot live together. Simple fact. Looks like I get the pleasure of working with both new types. I'll try not to get in the way. <laughs> it isn't getting in the way. You should just stick to what old types do best. You are our support. <laughs> oh, well then. I guess I'll do my best to live up to your high, high expectations of me. <laughs> Whoa, okay. You really don't like me, huh? That's fine. I'll grow on you. No, it's... I I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just kidding. Just a joke. 
Hey, I want you to try something, Alyssa. It might help. When things get crazy or chaotic, I want you to look up in the sky and find a cloud that looks like an animal, okay? It'll help you relax. You know what? Try it right now. That's an order. Once you do, come find us. We'll be just over there. But why would I do that? It's pointless. Just look for a cloud, okay? Trust me. We're gonna go on ahead a little bit. So here's the deal. That kid's got some unique baggage. Still, it's hard to find someone who doesn't have tragedy in their history. Sign of the times. I wanted to ask you, since you're a new type, will you keep an eye out for her? Good, thanks. Come on, then. One of the Chiyu has been lured into the region. Target and take it down. Facing both at once is not a sound strategy. Be careful. Fight well.
You guys are brave, and more than that, you're heroes. Looks like it's time to head home. That was a nice warm-up. When's the real challenge getting here? Well, well, well. Easy work at that one. Aragami. When Oracle cells were first discovered, they maintained an amoeba-like form. Harmless, delicate, how little we knew. Shortly after that, we discovered the first origami in earthworm form. Within six months, the first large-scale creatures appeared. And before even a year had passed, an entire continent had fallen prey to their rapid domination. It was unprecedented. Even with their unique talents, taking the form of that which they consume, we never anticipated this. Now, in the strictest sense, origami do not evolve. That is beyond their current capacity. The absolute fact of the matter is, the oracle cells themselves have not changed even one iota from their original gene sequence. Hold on, that's... Uh, that's just impossible. The cells change form, don't they? In a way, the origami you see, well, they're just like you are in this classroom, in this moment. To an origami, acquiring new forms, new abilities and gifts is identical to the way that we as humans absorb knowledge. Yes, I know it sounds very far-fetched. Let me give you an example. They discover what... They analyze the means of flight and then develop them. They absorb tons of information every time an oracle cell devours anything else. In 20 years, 20 years, they've developed an advanced system of form and function and dominated the Earth. A shame indeed that the Aragami are not as averse to study as it seems Kota is. They are dedicated and diligent students. Truly, it boggles the mind how advanced they've become. Latest reports suggest there is an Aragami out there capable of using a rudimentary missile system. If this is true, then they have absorbed man-made tools and developed a way to use such devices. I relish the chance to solve this ever-changing puzzle. How those cells must work to incorporate such complex features into the paradigm. Perhaps one day we might even see the next step. An origami that takes the form of a human. Wouldn't it be wondrous? I'm not sure that wondrous is the word we would use. <laughs>